Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, we're going to talk about what the drop down list buttons do. So, if you have a question about what one of these things does, then this is the video for you. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be talking about click location, stacking buttons, and frames. Uh, we're not going to go into those in this one. So, if you're looking for that information, it'll be in the next video. All right, let's start at the top. So I'm going to explain what these are, but we're not going to go into detail. So frame, this is, let's actually make a big button right here in the middle of the screen. Frame is a trackpad. So this is trackpad, a trackpad with the left mouse button pressed and held down. This is with the right mouse button pressed and held down. This is with the middle mouse button pressed and held down. This is with a left mouse click right mouse click, those look like this. We're gonna let's go ahead and take this away. This is a middle mouse click. This is a vertical wheel scroll. So if you have a mouse and you're scrolling the wheel, this has the middle mouse button pressed down while you scroll. This is with, a, uh, with the middle mouse not pressed down. The next one is if you have a mouse wheel that has horizontal, movement. This is horizontal movement, so that might pan something to the left or the right. This will close Tablet Pro. This is the menu that you see right here. This is the right-click menu is its name. Move Grip. If you add this, then this will let you drag the artist pad around the screen. Minimize will minimize the uh, Whatever mode is up, it'll minimize it to a small mouse icon. Um, let me demonstrate that. Let's make this smaller. Let's put this on here. Okay, this is going to look funny, but you'll get the idea. Click. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, make this slightly better looking. All right, that looks good. We're going to save it. Okay, you can see this now, and it looks like this. And you can drag that around the screen, although it might be a little hard to grab if it's all the way in the corner. Pretty cool. All right, let's go back here. And let's select this again, and we'll bring it out, make it bigger. Control, Shift, and Alt. These are modifiers. If you have, uh, let's go ahead and go right over here. These will toggle on. So right here, if you have disabled toggle, Control, Shift, Alt, then they will not toggle on and off. Um, if you have that unchecked the way it is right now, then this will toggle on and off. Uh, I recommend using the very last button right here, blank with a modifier selected to do certain functions, most things with modifiers, and then keeping the uh, regular modifiers here as toggled versions. Okay, Control, Shift, Alt, Escape key, up, down, left, right, backspace, tab, enter, caps lock, space, page up, page down, end, home, print screen, insert, delete, win key, this is the application key, kanji key. Um, this is number pad, zero through nine, number pad, um, asterisk, plus sign, minus, period, forward slash, F keys, uh, one through 12. You can use virtual key codes. All right, so that would be F13 through 24, you can find there. Numlock, scroll lock, these are all of our keyboard keys. Uh, A through Z, 1 through 9, 0 through 9, um, semicolon, plus you guys understand what all of these are. I'm not going to say all of them. This is mute. This is volume down, volume up, play, pause, stop, track forward, track back, brightness down, brightness up. This is the assist pad. This button, if we add it, uh, let's go ahead and add it over here. We'll make this smaller again. So let's go five, five, um, 50, and five. All right, and let's save it. 
Okay, you can see the assist pad here. When I press it, what it's gonna do is gonna open up the option here called assist pad. So I'm gonna minimize here. Let's drag this out of the way. <laughs> you can see here I have the grid on, but this is a trackpad. Uh, you can put buttons on it. You can change the aspect ratio. I'll have a video on this with more information coming up. So this is a great way to have trackpad functionality or a second panel with extra buttons on it uh, using the artist pad or really any of the different modes. All right, artist pad large. This is great for four buttons across. And here these are 25 width each spaced at 25 each and then uh, the height of five each works really well. Of course, you can do whatever custom sizes you would like. Um, medium, this is great for three buttons across, two buttons across, one button across, and you can do it differently if you'd like. All of these are right here. Art slim, art small, art medium, art large, and that will open up whatever is listed right here. It will open up a different one. It'll open up whatever is in this preset file. So all of these modes are within the same file. All right, so let's look at the last couple ones. Uh, this is the touch keyboard. Uh, click location is going to send a left mouse click wherever the location is down here in the location field. And this will take over any other function. So if you have um, like something set to J or K or uh, some other hotkey, if you choose click location, it will just overwrite it. Move to location will move the mouse without clicking. This is great if you have a button that's going to click a location, say somewhere in the corner, and then you want it to um, bring it back to the center afterwards, you can do that so you're not having to move the mouse if you're using a certain type of setup. Drag location, this is great for sliders. This is a drag with the left mouse button down from a location. Again, program this to, to go on a slider. Uh, this is, or um, this is good for 3D navigation as well. This is with the right mouse button down, with the middle mouse button down, and blank is going to allow you to do multiple modifiers at once. You can use plus one second for a quick one second toggle that will turn itself off. Just use the stylus quickly after pressing it it's because certain programs don't allow you to do uh, both pen and touch at the same time. So you would touch and then remove your thumb and use the pen within one second. And most of the time this works and then it keeps the modifier pressed until you're done with the pen. Typically what happens. All right, and that is the full list. Again, take a look at virtual key codes. Uh, if there's other functions that you're looking into that you don't see here, uh, there are more available. But we have, uh, as far as I know, all the important ones. All right, you guys, in the next video, we will be talking about button stacking. We'll be talking about click locations, and we'll be talking more about the frames. All right, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't rated the store apps up yet, please do that. It means the world to me. It's the best way to say thank you to me um, if you've already purchased the software. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day. So if you open up the INI file, uh, so let's do that real quickly. Again, I recommend pinning this right here, right click, pin to quick access. But let's go ahead and open up one of these. Uh, wait, no, we, we want to open it uh, in a different program. Okay, so if you go down here, uh, what you're gonna see is something like VK underscore escape. This is escape. So if you're making a button here, this number is going to be off by one. So what I recommend doing is if you're looking for it, put in uh, some something in the tooltip like touch keyboard or something so you can find it. This is artist pad slim, small, and you can use uh, virtual keys um, search for VK code, all one word, and you can find the VK codes for additional functions.